Shalom Israel. Today we are going to deal with the effects of music and TV on our people. Let's start out with 1 Corinthians 15 and 33. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So, evil communications corrupt good manners. The, the topic of the class was, is the effect of music and TV on our people. When we look at TV, when we listen to the music, Everything that is portrayed, everything that is pushed is evil. Let's go to Job 9 and 24. Let's prove that. Job chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So we understand. If the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, who's controlling what's on our TV? Who's controlling what's on our radios? The wicked. The so-called white man. All right? From there, let's go to 1 John chapter 5 and verse 19. The book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 19. Uh-huh. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And the what? Whole world lieth in wickedness. The whole world lieth in wickedness. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So we must understand that the Jay Z's, the Beyonce's, the Young Thugs, uh, uh, what's the show? Empire, the Game. All of these shows show us things that. That are not good for us. These things will corrupt our good manners. What are the good manners of the Israelites? Us keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. From there, let's go to uh, John chapter 4 and verse 2. Because we, we must understand that those people in these places, they must worship the devil to get to these places. The book of Luke chapter 4 verse 2. Mm -hmm. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. Uh -huh. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Uh -huh. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it may be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So the only communication we need according to this is the word of God. Read. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain uh -huh. showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world. So the devil was able to show Christ all the kingdoms of the world. Read. In a moment of time. Uh -huh. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, uh -huh. and the glory of them. All this power and glory will I give unto you. If what? Of them, for that is delivered unto me, uh -huh. and to whomsoever I will, Read. I will give it. Read. If thou therefore will worship me, uh -huh. and all shall be thine. You see that? If you worship the devil, he says, I will give you whatever you want. Why? Because he rules this world. We just read that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's why movie stars, uh, uh, singers, dancers, they all jacked up. Why are they all killing themselves for no reason? Because they have been worshiping the devil. From there, let's go to Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. The book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Mm -hmm. Envy thou not the oppressor. The Bible says, envy thou not the oppressor. What do they push on mainstream media? Why do our black women walk around half naked? Why do our beautiful black women have blonde hair? Why are young men sagging their pants? Why is that? Because they have learned the ways of their oppressor. The Bible says don't do that. Read. And what? And choose none of their ways. The Bible says choose none of their ways. From there, give me Proverbs 12 and 26. The book of Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Read. But the way of the wicked seduces the them. The way of the wicked seduces <coughs> The more TV to watch, the more music you listen to, you are going to be seduced into that way of life. Right. All right. From there, let's go to Isaiah 47. Let's start at verse 1. The book of Isaiah chapter 47 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. So this, what we're about to read is pertaining to the daughter of Babylon, which is today's America. Jump down to verse 9. Verse 9. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, uh -huh. in one day, mm -hmm. the loss of children uh -huh. and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries. For the multitude of thy sorceries. America is known famous for their sorcery. Mm -hmm. Through their music, to their television. <coughs> Read. And for the great abundance of thy enchantments. And their enchantments. That's that's your Disney channel. That's these chants, these songs they sing. Jump down to verse 12. Verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments mm -hmm. and with the multitude of thy sorceries. Uh -huh. Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou shall be able to profit. That was it? No. If so, be thou mayest prevail. Ah, so the America was prophesied in the Bible to lead the stage for the, their use of their enchantments, their music, and their television. 
Alright? And God says don't choose any of their ways. From there, give me Romans 10 and 17. The book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing mm -hmm. and hearing by the word of God. So right here the scriptures tell us whatever we feed into ourselves, that is what we're going to act on. The more we learn the Bible, the more we're going to apply. Likewise with music and television. If you listen to foolishness, if you watch foolishness, that is what you are going to act out. Give me Joshua 1 and 8. The book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, uh -huh. but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, uh -huh. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So here we see the Most High gave us instructions on what to meditate on, what to watch, what to listen to. And it's the word of God. From there, give me uh, 1 Samuel 16. Because now we're going to see that music does have an effect on your actions. Read that. 1 Samuel 16 and 14. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 14. Uh -huh. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. So the spirit of the Lord left Saul. Read. And an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Uh -huh. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now an evil spirit from God troubled thee. Uh -huh. Let our Lord now command thy servant which are before thee. To seek out a man who is a cunning player on an harp. So he has this evil spirit in his service. Say, let's find somebody that can play some music. What is that showing? That music can put spirits on you, good or bad. Read. And it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. All right, jump down to verse 23. Verse 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. You see that? The evil spirit left Saul. Why? Because the most I put the spirit on the music, and it, that evil spirit left him. Likewise, it's just like when you watch a pregame of a football, basketball game. What do they do for, for those slaves? They put music on them that put them in a certain spirit. You listen to violent, angry music, and it puts a certain spirit on them. All right? From there, let's go to uh, Ephesians chapter 4, and verse 29. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 uh -huh. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth The Bible says don't let any corrupt communication proceed out of their mouth So there's no benefit to you listening to this, this uh, horrible music mm -hmm. that, is, that is played Alright, read But that which is good to the use of edifying That it may minister grace unto the hearer Right, that's why we should meditate on the scriptures That's what's edifying for our people Last scripture 1 Thessalonians 5 and 22. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. Uh -huh. Abstain from all appearance of evil. So at the end of the day, when you see something that should not be on television, when you hear something that's on the radio, the most I say what? Abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain from all appearance of evil. With that, we say shalom. I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.